If you want to undervolt your RTX 5070 to get, at the same time, more performance, lower temperature, lower power consumption, lower noise, and even reduce the coil wind in your system, this is the right video for you, because undervolting is the best way of tweaking RTX 5000 series cards. Few disclaimers before we get started. As usual, this video wants to be very short. I don't want to keep you guys here for long. And the first preset I'm going to show is going to be the best balanced one. If you don't want to spend time tuning, then the more advanced one going on in the video are going to be just if you care about the whole undervolting stuff. This is going to work for every single card in the market, no matter the model. Here today we have a Zotac Solid card, but if you have an Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, Inno 3D card, doesn't matter, it's going to work for every single one of them. No matter the brand, we are still using MSI Afterburner and Heaven Benchmarks as software to do this. And both of them you're going to find down below in the description as usual. Now, the only thing I ask you guys for is on this channel, I'm trying to cover every single CPU and GPU on the market. And making those videos takes a bit because to do this, I, I had to test 10 different 5070s to have a sample size, which is decent. So if you can just drop a like and subscribe, it's going to help me a lot. And with that said, let's not waste any time and let's go ahead and let's start undervolting. But sorry, one last thing, I'm going to be using the stable version of Afterburner. I also have a video with the beta version and it's going to be in my RTS 370i undervolt tutorial, which is on the channel. So if you want to use the beta version, you can go check out that video. Here I'm using the stable one, but it's going to be the same in the end. Let's go. Now the first thing you want to do is open up Heaven Benchmark and you want to run it with those settings. Quality on Ultra, Tessellation Extreme, Anti-Aliasing X8, uncheck the full screen option and run it at 2560 by 1440, even if you have a 1080p monitor. Now run it and while it's running, you want to hit the Windows key and open up MSI Afterburner right here. Now at this point, the first thing you want to do is just fully unlock your power limit over here. Now, no worries, we are not actually increasing power, but it's just a step needed. Then you want to click on the curve editor right here to bring up the curve. And now let's go ahead with the first preset. Now the first preset is going to be the most balanced one. And I'm first going to give you the most conservative option possible for the most balanced one, the one which is going to work for basically every single one of you guys. So you want to go on the graph and grab the 900 millivolt voltage point right here. And holding shift, you want to bring the whole curve up to around 2850. In my case, 2845, again, around there. Then you want to left click on the void, hold shift to select the rightmost part of the curve and flatten the curve out and hit apply, just like this. And we have now applied our undervolt and our card is running at slightly over 2900 megahertz and it's running properly. It's already a lot cooler, a lot quieter and running better. Now, what we want to do is go ahead and on the memory clock, we want to give it plus 2000. Okay, just max it out. Now, if you have a newer version of Afterburner, you can do 3000, but we'll talk about that later. If you want to just copy, just the safest setting ever to get your benefits, just do this. Drop a like, subscribe, and close the video. In case you want to stay, I'm going to show you guys two other presets, one for performance, one for efficiency, and one to simply improve a little bit this one. So let's start with the latter. So if we want slightly extra performance, I find that most cards can actually do around 2900 at 900 millivolts. So again, grab the 900, bring it up to 2900, around there again, it doesn't have to be exact, then flatten it out, and that's gonna be your curve. And this works on most cards, okay? Of course, just give it plus 2000 at the end, and you also want power limit unlocked, but that's how you do it. Now, if you are really unlucky and you are unstable, you can do the same preset, but grabbing the 925 millivolt voltage point. And that's about it. Now, let's go ahead with the performance preset. Now, the performance preset, which is going to be basically undervolt plus overclocking all in one, is going to be using the 975 millivolt voltage point. This and actually the 990 voltage point, which you can actually make appear by clicking on the points. So the one we want is this one, 990. But first off, let's go with 975, okay? So 975, we bring the curve up to 3000 megahertz right there and then we flatten it out on the right side just like this and our card is now running at around 3000 why was i talking about the 990 millivolt voltage point is what you can also do is grab the 990 millivolt voltage point right here and bring the curve all the way up to 3200 now this is going to be 
unstable for most of you guys, around 3200. But this is where you get the absolute most performance for this car, just massive overclock, and you also get the benefits in the temperature and power consumption. So you flatten it out, and here's how it's running. And then you want to give it, of course, plus 2000 and unlock the power limit, even though we're not hitting it, and save it. Now, one last preset is going to be the efficiency preset. On the 5070, it is quite a bit different from 5080 and 5070 Ti. So the efficiency point is a bit higher. And uh, of course, it's when the slope of the curve changes. So in my experience, it is actually around 875 right here. But I've tested quite a few cars. And uh, if you're very unlucky, you may have to use this point over here, the 890. But let's pretend you're slightly lucky. So 875, you want to do 2.6 gigahertz. So over here, around 2.6. And then you want to, of course, flatten it out, bring it all the way down, hit apply. And now if you're doing this just for efficiency, you care 0% about performance, you don't even have to do this on the memory. You don't have to do it, but you can still do it with no problem. And also just unlock the power limit, just to be sure. This is our efficiency preset. So with this, we have covered every single possible option for this card and just a few words on the memory clock and then we're off. Basically, yes, you can go over 2000 by using the new version of Afterburner. If you're seeing this video in the future, all of you guys will have this one to 3000. But in my experience, after 2000, the ECC in the VRAM automatically corrects the error and makes you actually lose frames and uh, basically how smooth the game is. So maximum, I would go 2.2 over here, but you think it's not worth it, just put 2,000, you'll be happy. Now you're probably wondering, how do I save this to be my profile to work all the time? Well, you go here, you click on save, you click on one, you then click on one, you click apply, you then wanna check this, make sure it's blue over there, then go into settings and enable start with windows, start minimized and hit okay. And like this, Afterburner is gonna automatically start and you will always have your Underworld with you all the time. And with that said, please remember your promise in the beginning. So if the video was helpful, drop a like and subscribe and drop a comment. Let me know how it goes and if you did anything different. And tell me which preset you chose. I'm very curious. Bye bye.